Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to control our different lights on our vehicle. So we have some headlights, some spotlight, and we also have our brake lights. As you can see, the brake lights are already on. So I'm going to go forward, you're going to see what's going to happen. And if I brake, the lights are turning red. And also we have our reverse light on the vehicle when we go backward. So we're going to see how to do this. We also have our headlight. So as you can see here, the lights are on and off. And I go in front of the vehicle, we can see that the lights are turning on and off. So we're going to see to do that as well. And for concluding, we have our spotlight. So as you can see here, spotlight on the top of the vehicle. And I can press again and turn it off. Or I can do all of that at the same time. So we're going to see how to control each of those lights the way we want. And just we're just going to jump right into it. Here we go. So we are in our project here. So... We are going to start by doing the uh, control for our vehicle uh, because we need a key for the headlight and also a key for the uh, spotlight. So we're going to start with that. So we're going to just create, uh, create. We're going to click here on the content browser and we're going to go to the input and we're going to create a new action input. And this action input, we're going to call it IA underscore vehicle headlight I'm gonna put that there we go like this and we're gonna create another one and it's gonna be for our spotlight so we're gonna call that I a and it's gonna be underscore vehicle underscore spotlight as you can see here I forget my s so we're just gonna correct this here we go so we have our headlight and our spotlight so we're gonna go to the headlight and the headlight is gonna stay as a digital ball here but we're gonna name it headlights and we're going to have a trigger and it's just going to be a trigger when we press so just click on the plus here and we're going to go on uh, press and we're going to save and exit we're going to jump right in the spotlight and we're going to repeat the same process so the spotlight we're going to call this spotlight and same thing we're going to have a trigger and it's going to be press and we're going to save and exit so now our control or setup for this. Now we're going to put that in our input action. So my input mapping context right here. So we're going to open this. Now we're going to select those new map and uh, no new mapping, but those new input that we did. So we have the headlight and we're going to create another one. And this one will be for our spotlight. I want the F key to do the headlight and I want the G key to do the uh, spotlight. So this is all configured. You can put whatever you like. Uh, it's not an issue. So we're all done with the control. So we're going to go to the next step. Here we go. Now we're going to set up our vehicle. So we're going to set up all the, the functionality in our master blueprint. However, it's going to be all accessible with our uh, child blueprint, obviously. And so because I want all my vehicle to be able to use I-beam, spotlight and the brake lights. So the only thing we have to do when we create a new vehicle is just adjusting those light a little bit at uh, the location, I mean. So and if we don't have a spotlight, for example, for a certain vehicle, we can always deactivate that functionality in the child blueprint. So we're going to start with our uh, master class. So we're going to go to the master class and we're going to go to the viewport here. So we don't have any vehicle. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the mesh here and we're going to select our vehicle here just to have an idea where to put our uh, lights and all of that so we have our vehicle right here so from there we are going to do a lot of little things so just pay attention there's a lot and it can be very very confusing so we're going to select our mesh here and we're going to add our headlight so we're going to have our headlight so we're going to search for something called a spotlight right so we're going to click to the spotlight and we're going to name that pop spotlight left headlight and we're going to duplicate and we're going to call the right headlight perfect so we have the left and the right you can see they're right down here on our vehicle so we're going to start with the left headlight so what we're going to do is we're going to take the left headlight and we're just going to move it to the driver's side and we're going to try to place it in front of our light as much as we can. Something around there. So it seems that it's pretty good so far. So 
we can even go a little bit backward here we go like this so we have our first light that is configured so we're going to take the right light and we're going to repeat the same process and we're going to try to put it right in front of our light best as we can something like this and we're going to reverse it a little bit there we go so we have our two headlights so we're going to set up few configuration for our for our headlight so both will have the same value here so we're going to remove the intensity we're going to put that to zero because by default i want the light to be off so we're going to take our lights and we're going to put intensity zero for both of it so now we have our lights so we're going to repeat the same process but now we're going to have the brake light so we're going to go to the brake lights for the vehicle something around here and we're going to select our mesh and we're going to search not for a spotlight but we're just going to search for light and we're going to take a point light so the first point light will be our left brake light and we're going to take our left brake light and we're going to duplicate this and we're going to call it our right brake light okay same process as our headlight we're just going to move our brake light so we can select both at the same time just to bring it in the rear of the vehicle something around here there we go so we have our lights right here in the middle we're going to take the left one for the driver side and we're just going to move it must close as we can from our light here so we can remove the snapping so we get a better control on our light there you go something around those lines here so we're going to repeat the same process with the red uh, the red the right light so we're going to try to place it in front here much as we can there you go like this i like it like this perfect so we have our brake lights we have our headlights so we're pretty good with that so we're going to start with this and we're going to come back repeating the same process for our have uh, pod light here on the top okay so we're just going to compile this we're going to go to our code we're going to go to the event graph and here we have our control forward backward and our steering for our vehicle we're going to start with the forward so the forward and the backward will control our rear light from when we are moving our vehicle set throttle for going forward we're going to drive from it and we're going to search a node called compare float so what is doing this it's going to compare the input that we put here to a value that we decide right here so the input that i want is the forward so when we go forward with our vehicle compared to number one as you remember zero is we're not moving and one is we're going forward when we press on our key okay never go below zero or above one for this purpose for this code here so when i go forward i want something to happen well we have our brake lights so we're going to take our two brake lights uh right here we're going to drag them on our board here and so we're going to take the left light first and right light here so we're going to drag from the light and we're going to search something called set intensity okay and we're going to select this one here and we're going to connect this to our equal so if you're wondering where i'm getting that information it's when we are on our uh, lights here we have intensity so i want the intensity of our light to be changed to a value that i want so i'm going to select our two brake lights and by default i'm going to put those value here for the headlight let me check my notes here make sure i don't say anything stupid so we're gonna make this to a thousand for both of our brake lights okay so when we're braking for our light when we're not moving so it's going to be equal to nothing which is going to be zero which we're not putting any input so the intensity for our light will change to zero so basically we will have no lights at all and when we go forward we're gonna have our lights on okay so when we go forward okay we're gonna set the light color here so this the light color for this light here so we're gonna drive from this and we're gonna set 
light color and we're going to select a good red so we're just going to connect this right there to the minus and our light color i want a red so i'm going to put that to red something around those lines here not too picky with the red we can always play with that a little bit later so we're going to make sure that our two brake lights are connected to set light color okay that's really really important and also we're going to duplicate the set intensity here and we're going to plug that right to our set color and we're going to change that to 10,000 uh, sorry a thousand here we go so a thousand we're going to make sure that we're connecting a target to it so it's going to be our left brake light so this one here so i'm just going to do a reroute node so we know exactly where because we're going to have a lot of lines everywhere in our graph so we're going to make that best as we can right away so it's going to be easy to read for everyone or later on if we are coming back to this code so we're going to compile so basically when we're not moving it's going to be red and when we're moving it's going to be no light at all but you're going to see we're going to try that right now so you're going to see that uh this code here is working so we're going to go to our map here so here we have our vehicle so we're going to hold control and l so we can change the time of the day so we're going to put that a little bit like this so we can see our lights okay we're going to do play and as you can see here the lights are red and when i break they turn red 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 and same thing right so that's pretty good so we can see uh, it's working for us as you can see there's a little thing so you can see when we're not moving they're kind of white and nothing so we have to change that so we're going to go back to our vehicle and we're just going to select our two lights for the brake lights and we're going to put the intensity to zero okay so when we go back here when we press play we have no lights and brake lights and that's pretty much this so we can see that it's starting to take place so we have our brake lights right here so we're going to continue our code we're going to repeat the same process again for brake lights but with the reverse option we're going to take the compare node once again so we're going to drive from that search for compare node and we're going to take the float one we're going to take the input and plug this to our action value for going backward and we're going to put a reroute node so it's look better the number that we're going to put here is going to be number one as well we're going to take our two lights so we need our left and right brake light we have it here so we're going to drag from one of them and we're going to set our intensity and we're going to plug this up to our equal the intensity that we're going to put here is zero make sure our two lights are plugged to it there we go we have our two lights from that we're going to set a color as well so we're going to drag from that and we're going to just set color so we have our right color here so we want the same color of that we can just copy paste this and just put it right there so we're going to have the same red for both and we're going to plug this one to our minus here here we go and we're going to compile from that we're going to set another intensity right here so just duplicate that once again i'm going to put it there and plug it to the other intensity and this one will be set to a thousand so just select a thousand and the target will be our two brake lights i'm going to do a reroute node so it's look better here we go we're going to have a lot of lines so i'm just make it much organized as i can right now okay so if we try this out you can see that it's gonna do some stuff so we have our red light breaking when i release when i go backward same thing so you can see here uh, we have our lights as well when we go reverse but they're not turning off and on so it's because we're not done but we're we're getting there we're getting there uh, it's not a problem we have our intensity here and we're gonna have to do our left brake light side light so it's gonna be our reverse white light for our vehicle so we're gonna go back to our viewport and here we're gonna use those red light here to put our white light okay so we're gonna take our light right here and it's gonna be 
we're going to search for light and it's going to be a point light so we're going to create two point lights so one will be left break side light and we're going to duplicate this one here so just click on it and duplicate and we're going to call that all right okay i'm going to make sure that they're not under this one perfect so we have our left brake light so we're going to take this with the other one right there and we're just going to drag both of them at the same time in the rear of the vehicle there you go so we're going to place one around here I'm going to take the right one and we're just going to move it on the other side right here there we go so the intensity of those two lights I'm going to rename this one because I did a spelling mistake so those two lights will be intensity of zero from the start there we go so we're going to compile that and we're going to go to our event graph and we're still on our reverse backward here so we're going to take our two lights that we just created so we're going to drag that right here so we have the we're going to have the left on the top here and the right on the bottom so those two lights will set a color so we're going to have to set a color as well so we're just going to duplicate this one here put it there and we're going to select white so just take full white there we go we're going to take our two lights here and we're going to put them in the target as you can see right now i'm just going to do a reroute node for both so and this would be connected on the top here and this one here would be connected right there okay so we're going to move a little bit forward and we're going to set the intensity once again so we're going to take that put it right there and the target for there will be those two lights here what we can do we can take those two lights here and we can drag from here just put it right there there we go we're going to do a reroute node as well and right here we're going to set our intensity once again we're going to put it right here we're going to drag from the set light color and the number will be zero for this one and once again it's going to be those lights here once again so we're going to we can drag from those two lights and just put it right there the number here will be 100 for the last set intensity the one right under will be zero the one here will be a thousand and the first one will be zero we have our red color here and we have our white color here okay so and we compare this to the value one for compare float connected to our backward so if we compile this and we do play and if we go reverse you can see here there's a reverse my uh, number I guess because you know when I go back it's supposed to be white and now it's doing the reverse so we have a little uh, issue in our code so what we're gonna do we're just gonna double check that everything is good so what I like to do we can instead of connecting there right there so make sure that we know exactly where it's going we can connect those two right there and we can remove this plug it back up like this and so we're gonna have two that go up so I'm just trying to stay really organized because we're gonna have a lot of lines and it's kind it can be very very confusing so I'm just going to try to put that really, really organized. And I'm going to unplug those two here. I'm going to put it back up here. I'm going to do another reroute node. There you go. And we're going to drag once again from our left brake light, putting on the top here. I'm going to do another reroute node. Bring it down. There you go. And do the same thing with this one. Put it up here. Do another reroute node. There we go. So those two go right there. So we're going in those two. Go. I found the mistake here. It was the intensity here needed to be connected to the set intensity of the bubble and the set light color on the top here. Okay. So you can take a look. 
to see that you have the same thing. So one here, intensity zero, intensity a thousand, and intensity hundred. The bottom is going to be red, white, and intensity zero. So your two side light for the white light will be connected to those two here at the end and the middle one for the white color. Your two red light will be connected to the two first intensity and the red light. Okay, so we're gonna compile and we're gonna go try this out. So when I reverse, white light, when I remove, brake light. So as you can see here, go forward, brake light, Go backward, break light. Here we go. So our lights are working pretty, pretty well. So we're good with this. So the next step will be our headlight. And after that, we're gonna go for our spotlight. So now we're gonna do the headlights, but just before that, we're gonna make that very easy to read. So we're gonna select this right here. And we're going to press C on our keyboard to do a comment. And we're going to call that uh, vehicle controls we're going to click here in the detail panel for having the bubble on the top here so we can read it easier and we're going to select all of that we're just going to move it a little bit on the side here and we're going to do another c on our keyboard and this would would be our brake lights and same thing we're going to click on the box here to have our bubble on the top here i'm just going to do a quick reroute node right here here we go now it's a little bit easier to read so we're gonna pass to our headlight. So the headlight is really, uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, easier. So we're gonna search for or control for our headlight. So we created an input for that. So we're gonna IA our input and our input wants our vehicle and this was the headlight. So we're gonna select this. So we're gonna go from start here. We're gonna dry, I'm gonna do a flip flop, okay? So when we press once, it's go to A. When we press again, it's go to B. We're gonna take our two lights, so we need our two headlight. So we have our head left headlight and right headlight right here. We're gonna drag them to our board. I'm gonna put the left on the top here. And it doesn't really matter which one you put on the top or in the bottom. It's just for me, just to follow my notes correctly. Um, okay, so we're gonna drag from the first one and we're gonna set or intensity, same as before. We're gonna put that to A and our intensity get ready because it depends how strong you want your lights to be. Uh, so you put the number you want. So for me, I'm gonna put 1 million. So let's go I put that number and uh, we're gonna plug our two lights to it, the target, and I'm gonna copy our set intensity we're going to put that to b and we're going to plug our two lights to it and this time it's going to be zero because our lights will be turned off and we're going to take our intensity once again we're going to copy it and we're going to put it right there and the number that we're going to put here will be just a little bit lower so we're going to put ten thousand. okay and the target will be we don't have it yet but we're going to have two other lights here for simulating uh, the light in front of the vehicle. So you're gonna see exactly what I mean in a minute. So we're just gonna unplug this for now. And so we can try it out. So if you do play and we'll go there, press F, you see we have our lights for our vehicle, right? But you can see in front of the vehicle, they kind of, you know, still on right now. We're gonna fix that later. But for now, you can see that the control for our vehicle for the lights is working perfectly, okay? So we're gonna go back to our viewport and in front of the vehicle, we have our spotlight, but we also need our light. So we're gonna need our um, point light. We're gonna do create two point light. So the first point light uh, will be called left spotlight. Uh, no, sorry. Um, just delete that point light and select your left island, your left headlight and search for light and we're going to take the point light okay right under here so we're just going to drag that close to our driver side so technically we could take our left light here and just copy 
the location of our light and going on a point light paste that location so our light would be exactly uh, where we want it to be uh where it is oh it's right there so there you go so it's right exactly at the same location so it's exactly what i want and i'm going to repeat the same process for the red light here the right light so we're going to search for a light so we're going to search for light and we're going to take the uh, point light and same thing i'm going to take our red and uh, not red our right headlight and we're going to copy the location and i'm going to take our point light and we're going to paste that location so make sure it's go exactly where we want so if it's up here you just click on the uh, arrow here on the detail panel and it's going to go back right at the same location of the other light one is the right light so i'm going to rename it i'm going to call yes i'm going to call that the right headlight i'm going to put one and the other one would be the left headlight i'm going to call that one there we go. so our two lights here i'm just checking my notes there's so many lights it's getting very very confusing right now so the intensity of our two lights will be at zero because we don't want it to be on from the start okay and we're going to compile we're going to go back to our code and here we're going to plug this intensity so we have our highlight headlight when we're pressing the key we're going to take our two new point light that we did we're going to put it on our board so we have the left and the right and from that we're going to make sure they are plugged to the intensity zero and also the intensity at 10,000 we're going to do a reroute node for both of them so if you select one the reroute node and select your first one here if you press Q they're going to be aligned perfectly so it's look way better so we're going to save that so now if we try this out we go for our lights so we have our lights in the front here so press F headlight shut off so they're turn off turn on turn off turn off you can see the light still on it's just because we have to modify the mesh so let's just do it right now so we can see exactly what it's doing so we're going to go to our mesh right here on the top and we have our material right here so we're going to browse to it and we're going to open it and here we have emissive color right here just click on this poof you see the lights are turning back they're turning on and off so we're going to disable that by default we're going to go back to our viewport and you can see here now there's no more lights so if we do play and you see there's no lights press f the lights are turning on on the vehicle off on off so we're getting there we have our brake lights too so we go forward no lights we brake the lights are there we reverse so everything still work so we're good with that so that's pretty good so we're done with the um the headlights so now we're gonna have to do the pod light on each side of the vehicle so first we are going to do a box on that do control and we're going to call that headlights and i'm going to make sure we click on the show bubble here so we can see on the top here there we go so we have or brake lights headlight now we have to do the spotlight um, so it's going to be the same process again as this so we're just going to have a little bit more so we're going to go back to the viewport so from this point it's just going to be repeating the same process as we did before um, so it's up to you if you want to stick around to see how to do it or if you already get the point and you know how to do your own mesh so you can go and do whatever you need to do uh, so we're going to set up our four spotlight here so first we need we're gonna need we're gonna select our mesh i'm gonna add and i'm gonna search for light we're gonna have four point light and we're gonna have four spotlight so we're gonna start with the spotlight and the spotlight will be called uh right spotlight we're gonna 
duplicate this one and it's gonna be left pod light okay and we also need one in the rear and one in the back so we can duplicate the left spotlight and we can do spotlight one and we can duplicate uh ta -ta -ta -ta, where right 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 spotlight oh, right here and duplicate there we go so now we have our left spotlight right spotlight and we have the right spotlight and we have the where is the other left spotlight and unless i mm -hmm. right spotlight 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 well i guess i didn't create it so we're gonna take the spotlight here and we're just gonna duplicate that oops and we're going to rename it to like this perfect so we have all our spotlights we're going to select all the spotlight we're just going to move it up all right so we're going to place one around here something like this sounds good so we have we're going to take the left spotlight we're just going to move it here there we go we have the right spotlight and we have the left spotlight so we're going to move that there and in the rear here we go and i'm going to repeat the same process for the other spotlight so i'm just not taking too much time so we can see so we can see that the lights is pointing with a little angle so what we're going to do is just we're going to rotate we're going to select those right one first and we're just going to rotate 35 there we're going to take our two lights here and we're going to do the same thing it's going to be minus 35 there we go so now they're pointing on each side so we're going to take all our spotlight make sure the intensity is from zero by default we're going to compile now we have the spotlight we'll go back to the event graph and now we're going to take our action key for the spotlight so ia underscore uh it was spot vehicle spotlight right here so same thing we're going to drag from the start we're going to search for flip-flop so we're going to set the intensity of our light so let's take our spotlight we have it here so just drag them on the board here so we're going to drag from one and just set our intensity once again i'm going to put that to eight and it's going to be i was throwing you out your spotlight so i'm going to put hundred thousand and we're going to copy paste the intensity on the bottom here for b and this one will be zero because i want my lights to be turned off so we're going to plug all of those lights to the first one and there will be also plug connected to the other intensity when it's zero so let's drag it up there so we can compile so now if we go in our game so we have our spotlight here so we're on the game press j so you can see the spotlight or turning on but you may have noticed that um, we have a little problem here we do not have the lights itself turning on like the headlight right so we have to do that as well so we're going to go back to our viewport and uh, for each of the spotlight we're going to start with the first one here we're going to have the light and this light will be our uh, uh, point light and we can just leave it under here and we're going to put it at the same location so right there so we can select the other light do a search for point light same thing we have it there so we're just going to reset the location so it's go exactly where the light is where we put it by default so we're going to search for lights once again 
going to take our point light reset so it's going to go back up and our last one will be another point light and we're going to reset the location so we have all our point light you can see here they're kind of right there so by default our point light need to be at zero so it's blackout so there's absolutely nothing so now the vehicle for all the lights is set up you can see that is very confusing there's a lot of lights right so that's why i'm saying you need to have a good names and good configuration here if you don't want to get lost too much so we're going to take all our point light that we just created we're going to drag them on the board and we're going to take another intensity just put it right there after the first intensity and this one would be 5000 and i'm going to connect the target for each of our lights so we're just going to zoom out so it's a little bit easier there you go like this and now what i'm going to do i'm just going to do a reroute node so it's a little bit easier to read There you go. So now I'm just going to select one by one to put it in line by press Q on the keyboard and they need to be connected to zero as well. There you go. Now we're going to try this out. So if we do play, we just go on the side here for our vehicle, we press G. So we have the lights turn on off on off on off so that's pretty much what we need so we can turn which one we want so that's pretty good so we have all our lights on we go forward the brakes we go backward here we go so we have all our lights so we can see that the lights are turning off here for our vehicle when we drive forward so we could fix it up and basically putting that the lights still stay on when we go forward if you want your red light uh, to stay on when we drive forward you can just put a number here so I'm just gonna put 200 so now if we compile and we do play so if we go forward we have our lights still on a little bit so and off so you can see everything is still on now when we go forward so that's pretty much this so everything is working pretty good so we have all our lights for our vehicle so we're just gonna do a comment box on this and we're gonna call that uh, spotlights and we're gonna select the little bubble here so we can see it up here so now you have it we have all the lights for our vehicle so brake lights headlight spotlight and uh, that's pretty much this so thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one see ya